Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu Server version 22 on Hyper-V. If you're not familiar with Hyper-V, basically it is a virtualization platform that allows you to run multiple operating systems on a single physical machine for testing and lab purposes. One of the great things about using Hyper-V is that you don't need to install any other tools such as VirtualBox to run your virtual machines. However, it is important to note that enabling Hyper-V means you won't be able to use other virtualization tools like VirtualBox or VMware Workstation unless you disable it. If you are running Windows 10 or Windows 11 operating system, you can easily install Ubuntu version 2022.04 using the Hyper-V feature. You can also install the Hyper-V role on Windows Server but in this video, I will be using the desktop version of Hyper-V on Windows 11. The same steps should work for Windows 10 as well. Additionally, you're not limited to installing Ubuntu version 22. You can also install other versions of Ubuntu and Linux distributions. Now, to run virtual machines, CPU virtualization must be enabled in your computer's BIOS. You can easily find instructions for enabling BIOS on your specific systems by searching on Google. I have already enabled virtualization in BIOS on my computer. After enabling CPU virtualization in your BIOS, you also need to enable the Hyper-V feature in your Windows 10 or Windows 11 operating system. To do this, simply click on the search bar, type turn Windows features on or off, and click on it. All right, you can see that the Hyper-V feature is already enabled on my computer. If it is not enabled on your computer, you need to select it and restart your computer to enable it. I'm going to click on cancel. Once Hyper-V is enabled, open the search box and type Hyper-V manager, then select it from the search results. Now, I have already downloaded the Ubuntu Server version 22 ISO file from the Ubuntu website. But if you want to download that, just navigate to ubuntu.com, accept the cookies, click on download, click on get Ubuntu Server, click on download Ubuntu Server 22.04.3 LTS version. As I mentioned, I've already downloaded the ISO file. Therefore, I'm going to click on cancel. Once you have the ISO file downloaded, you will need to create a new virtual machine in Hyper-V. I am now back in Hyper-V Manager. To create a new virtual machine, I will select desktop on the left side, which is my computer's name. Then on the right side, under the actions menu, I will click on new and select virtual machine. On the Before You Begin screen, I will simply click on Next. Next, on the Specify Name and Location screen, I will enter the name of the virtual machine. I will name this as Ubuntu 01. By default, the virtual machine on my computer will be stored in the path D drive, data drive, virtual machines folder. I am okay with that. However, if you want to store in a different location, select the option Store the virtual machine in a different location. I am going to uncheck this and click on Next. When creating a virtual machine on the Specify Generation screen, make sure to select Generation 2. This will provide access to newer virtualization features. I'm going to click on Next. Next, you'll need to configure the virtual machine settings. On the Assigned Memory screen, ensure that you allocate sufficient RAM to the virtual machine as this will affect the performance of the VM. However, if you have a larger amount of RAM and plan to use the virtual machine as a graphical desktop, allocate a 4 GB RAM size as the minimum. In our case, we'll be assigning 2 GB as the startup memory. So I'm going to specify 2048 MB. I will keep the option Use Dynamic Memory for this virtual machine checked so that the memory assigned to this virtual machine can be allocated dynamically. I'm going to click on Next. On the Configure Networking screen, connect the VM's network adapter to a network. In this case, I will connect it to the virtual switch called Internet, which has the connectivity to Internet. I'm going to click Next. To create a virtual machine, you must first create a virtual hard disk on the Connect Virtual Hard Disk screen. The size you choose depends on your available disk space and intended use of the virtual machine. By default, the option to create a virtual hard disk is selected. 
along with the default name of the virtual hard disk which is ubuntu01.vhdx and the default location where the virtual hard disk will be saved. I will change the size of the virtual disk from the default 127 gig to 20 gig. The second option available is use an existing virtual disk which is used to attach an existing VHD or VHDX virtual disk. The final option available is attach a virtual disk later which is used to skip the creation of virtual hard disk now and attach an existing virtual hard disk later. I'm going to click on next. In the installation options screen, select the option install an operating system from a bootable image file and click on browse. I will navigate to the location which has the ISO file saved for Ubuntu server version 22. I will select that and click on next. On the next screen, confirm the details and click the finish button. All right, the virtual machine is created. To run it, right click on it, click on connect. The virtual machine console will load up asking you to click the start button to start the virtual machine. So I'm going to click on start and boot from the Ubuntu ISO file. Just in case if it doesn't boot from the ISO file, click on file and go into settings. Since we have selected the generation 2 VM, click on security and make sure Microsoft UEFI certificate authority is selected as one of the template for secure boot. So I'm going to click on cancel. I will keep the option try or install Ubuntu server selected and press enter. So now it's going to load up the Ubuntu installer. You'll need to select your language and the keyboard layout. For the type of installation, I'm going to keep the default Ubuntu server selected and press done. For the network connections, you can either select DHCP address or you can specify a static address. So I'm going to go with a DHCP address for now and press done. I don't have any proxy address to connect to the internet, so I'm simply going to press done. Now it's going to connect to the Ubuntu archive mirror address and you can see the mirror location past tests. So I'm going to press done. For the storage configuration, I don't have anything on the disk. So I'm going to keep the option use an entire disk selected. And I'm going to set up this disk as an LVM group. Uh, this is where you'll need to be careful as you don't want to accidentally wipe your hard drive if you have something on the hard drive. In my case, I don't have anything. So I'm going to select done. And it's going to show me the file system summary. I'm going to select done. Now I'm going to continue with the installation process. So I'm going to select continue and press enter. For the profile setup, I'm going to specify my name and the server name, Ubuntu 01. And the username will be my name and the password. I'm going to select done. I don't want to upgrade to Ubuntu Pro. So I'm going to skip for now and select continue. I'm not going to set up an open SSH server. So I'm going to say done. And I'm also not going to install any of the server snaps. So I'm going to select done. And it's going to install the Ubuntu server OS on this VM. Okay, it is done. And I'm going to select reboot now. Okay, I'm going to test my login. I'll type my username and password. All right, there you go. I have successfully logged in and we have now successfully installed Ubuntu on Hyper-V. From here, if you want, you can start installing your required software packages or configuring Ubuntu to your liking. Thanks for watching and I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more great tech content.